So Mark Waite and his lawyer Mark Zaid, that's his real name, appear to have flagged my video talking about Diversity in Comics' lawsuit against Wade. This video had been up since October 7th and it had no problems. But now all of a sudden it's been false flagged as containing nudity and sexual content. Now there is a part in there from Ace Ventura Pet Detective where he's pretending to hump something. But even in context in the film, he's clearly not committing a sexual act. There are a couple of jokes in the video at Richard C. Meyer's expense. I'm sure that's not why it was flagged. There's virtually no profanity in the video. I'm not suggesting that anybody should do any sex acts to anyone. So this just appears to be a false flag situation. Now I say that Mark Wade and his lawyer Mark Zaid did this because this seemed to have happened only after I responded to one of Zaid's tweets where he retweeted a hit piece against Comicsgate. Prior to that, there hadn't been any problems. Of course, there is another person, Rymphamous, who's popped up on that thread and it's possible that that's the person behind it too. Either way, I've appealed the decision. I don't know if YouTube is going to reinstate the video, but just in case they don't, let me make my points again. Your client, Mark Waite, has had a hate boner for Richard Cuckstuffer Meyer for a while. And boy, did he whip it out. Waite publicly announced on his Facebook page that he would contact the top brass at Antarctic Press, who he's never worked with, and tell them not to publish jawbreakers. Now, when I say contact, I mean he called the owner's private medical practice to <clears throat> advise him that it'd be a shame if AP published the book. Richard Clapbacks are my passion Meyer is a horrible person because lies, lies, and more lies, and you don't want to be associated with that because it might not end well for you and your indie employees too, or something to that effect. That's actually what happened, dude. You don't have to like that that's what happened. You can sit there and retweet all the shit you want to tweet about Superman and Captain America being on your side, even though current Captain America is technically a Nazi, so you probably don't want to side with him. But that's what your client actually did. And he also did this. He decided the best thing to do was gloat after Antarctic Press canceled the deal. He gloated all over Facebook, gloated in interviews, just spilt his tortious seed all over the place in print. So when you get up in front of a judge and you try to explain how it's okay for your client to interfere with someone else's contract because people were saying mean things about him and other people online, it's not going to fly. I don't care how many countries you sued and how many billions of dollars you got. You've got a problem with this case because there is a track record in print done by your own client showing that he's actually interfered with someone else's business with their contract and he's gloating about it repeatedly. You can false flag as many videos as you like, dude. It's not going to change the situation and you're not going to silence me or anyone else. You can keep playing this game. And I'm going to keep talking about you and your client. I'm going to keep doing the Gollum voice because you know what? It's freaking awesome, Precious. It's freaking hilarious. And you know what? You actually likes it too. You're not going to stop me from doing it. You're not going to stop anyone else from doing it. And I can't wait to see you settle because that's probably what you're going to do. You know, as well as anyone else does, it doesn't really look good for your client when you have him in print admitting to doing the thing he's accused of doing. There's really no way to wiggle around that. But I'd like to see you try. If it goes to court, I'd love to see what happens there. But in the meantime, just know I'm going to keep talking about you. There might even be a weekly video talking about you just so I can remind people of what the actual deal is. This was a stupid fight to pick, man. But what do I know? I'm just some guy.